right now I am out to sea. I'm a long way away from the forest. I am on a ship probably a hundred miles out to sea called the Spirit of Tasmania, somewhere between Tasmania and mainland Australia. What I'm doing on a ship is that I give wildlife talks here on the ship. I also give cartooning lessons, cartoon workshops, so it's all about, again, art and wildlife. I'm not allowed to bring anything live on the boat, but what I have got is this little guy here, the platypus. It's a bit stuffed, it's very stuffed. A stuffed platypus. Well, this is interesting. Because out of all the mammals on the planet, this is the only venomous one. On the ankles, on the male platypus, are these venom spurs. See there? So they contain venom here in their legs. Males will use this venom against each other uh, when competing for a mate and this is usually August, September, so beginning to springtime. And at that time the venom toxicity is upped. It's extremely high and it is a venom not to kill, it is a venom to induce pain. So the platypus you know, induces a lot of pain. That's why you know, you've got to be careful not to pick up these guys. Front paws are interesting. Check out this. Now it's an animal which swims and you see it walks on its knuckles like a bat. So it walks like that. Then it's got these claws here. It digs in the side of the river bank. Now what it needs is trees on the side of the river bank because trees, their roots come down and they form arches for the platypus to dig amongst. And then when they want to swim, this sort of fans right out into a really big paddle at the front. When they dive down, they have their eyes shut and they use their beak to fossick around for little crustaceans and things like that. Of course the females are interesting because they lay eggs. Echidnas, platypus, the only egg-laying mammals. Now, What's a mammal? A mammal is an animal which has mammy glands, which produces milk to feed the young. These guys don't have nipples. A female platypus, the mammy glands which are there, would produce milk, and the milk would come out onto the fur, and the little baby, after it hatches out of an egg, will lap up the milk off the fur. So there you go. What an interesting animal. Okay. Good old Australian platypus looks like a mishmash of a whole heap of animals. In fact, when first described, people thought it was a fake. They thought it was a hoax. Duckbill, tail like a beaver, swam in the water, webbed feet. <sighs> well, I guess I better get back to work. cartooning and then give some talks about Tasmanian devils. See you next time.